On the one year anniversary of his murder, family and friends back at the scene of the crime on Fleetwood Drive in Harper Woods, where Angelo Lamb was killed. One year ago today, my son Angelo was murdered on this block. It's not like he was a nobody. He was a somebody to all of us, every last one of us. The father of 11 children, his two youngest, just toddlers out with other family members on this day as they seek justice and closure. Angelo's killer still out there. He was a great person. He showed up every, every time anybody called him. He was everybody's one call. My cousin always said that was my one call. If you call him, he's coming. He, it doesn't matter what he's doing. It's very emotional for me to talk, so bear with me. Angelo was my favorite brother. He was like one call away, like my sister said. He was the get the job done. He was quiet. He was the peacemaker. He was definitely the peacemaker. If anybody had any problems, he always tried to earn them out. Even if, if I have an attitude with somebody, he's always like, you know, just let that go. Life's too short. He always the one that always reminded me how life was short. And unfortunately, his was short, shorter than all of us expected. They walked about a mile from the scene of the crime to the Harper Woods Police Department, where Angelo's sister met with investigators. They released a statement to Fox 2 saying in part, Quote, I will not disclose the details of that conversation, but the members of the Harper Woods Police Department share the same objective as Angelo's family and friends, which is justice for Angelo. Unfortunately, preparing a solid case to submit to the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office takes time, and our goal is a conviction, not just an arrest. End quote. And if you have any information at all about the murder of Angelo Lamb, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at 1 800 Speak Up. You could be eligible for a $2,500 reward for tips that lead to an arrest. In Harper Woods, Camila Mary, Fox 2 News.